Hey guys, I'm NEC. Welcome to Invisible Inc. A procedurally generated, roguelike, turn-based spy game. That's a lot of stuff. The game is a blend of some of the other roguelikes that I've played. So FTL, Rogue Legacy. How this one works is obviously you're a spy. And you go into different buildings. You gotta sneak around past cameras and guards, steal some stuff, and then get out. Now, when you first start playing the game, you have almost nothing. Like, you have really basic stuff. But as you advance and then you fail, because eventually you're going to die and you're going to lose, you get experience. And then with that experience, it unlocks better upgrades and other characters and stuff like that. And that allows you to play the game again, but with a slightly better start. So, it's a... A lot of, get as far as you can, die, start over. Get as far as you can, die, start over. But every single time you play, you should be getting a little bit farther because you're getting some more stuff. As you can see, I have a current high score of 1,410, which is absolutely atrocious. I do have a little bit of XP. I've unlocked a couple of characters. I'm going to jump right into the game right now. I'm going to show you the tutorial. I'm going to cruise through the tutorial so you guys have an idea of how the game is played. And then we'll go right into story mode. Operator, we located your missing agent. He was off the grid for a while, but we've tracked him to an FTM holding cell here. Once we re uplink, guide the agent to the nearest elevator. Our extraction team will meet him on the roof. The agent has been undergoing extensive and may be slowly and don't use any big words. All right, your mission, should you choose to accept it. Something, something, shaken, not stirred. Shoe phone. There he is, wake him up. Get up, get up, you lazy bum. Can you walk? Yes, you can walk, you right click to walk. Most of the game is done with the mouse, but you can use some hotkeys on the, on the uh, keyboard. So, hit enter, and your turn. When you come up to doors, you can peek through them. When you peek through a door, it's going to give you a little bit of a view. If you open the door, and then you peek again, it gives you a much better view. Alright, and the turn. This guard's dumb as a box of rocks, by the way. The alarm is increased if this unit dies oh yes that's another thing so well hold on i'm gonna get the uh the stun gun thingy here what is it the uh the neural disruptor basically a stun gun now if you use the neural disruptor on these guys like this god that looked like it hurt it doesn't kill them it just knocks them out for a couple of turns it takes three rounds to recharge the Neural Disruptor, but two rounds for the guy to, to wake back up. So you can't just keep knocking them out and keep them out, you know, indefinitely. So we're gonna steal his stuff. He's got some money on him. Thank you very much. You can drag the body. We're not gonna do that. It's not worth it right now. We're gonna go to the door. And I'm just gonna open it. And go down here. Ah, oh, darn it. All right, and in the turn. So, oh, see, he's already up. He's already up and around. Uh, I'm gonna close this door right here so he can't see me. I think I was supposed to close that one. Whatever. All right, we're gonna hijack the console. It gives us some power. More power. Power up. Power up. Uh, all right, so we can look through here. And we can see that there's a camera right there. We're going to go into Incognita, which allows you to see all the stuff. We're going to hack that thing with the power we got from the console. And then let's keep going. And the turn. All right. We're going to head down here. And the turn. Okay. So next thing, we're going to come over here. We're going to peek through. We can see there's a guard there, okay? Now, he's looking right at the door. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open the door, see that? which kind of alerts him. He's like, oh, hey, the door just opened. 
Now we can turn this thing on. So when he comes over here, he's going to have a nice little surprise. Bam! Get over there. And we can steal some stuff. He just got some money on him. And then I'm going to come down here. Give it a turn. I'm just going to open the door. And go in. Oh, I need to get the power. Steal the power. All right, so when you get to... Uh, what happened? Close the door so he can't come over here. Go over to the corner of the room. Now, see, you can see this is being watched, so we've got to peek around the corner right here. You can see the camera. Hi, Jacket. Bam. And then end the turn. And go in here. And we exit. And we're done, Ski. That's the tutorial. That's pretty much it for the game as far as the basics of it like you just have to stay out of their view and uh, get the stuff you're supposed to get and then get the hell out of there so these are the characters that you have to start out with at the beginning of the game you get Deckard and you get the the internationality internationally I, I don't know how to pronounce it uh, there's also Shalom 11 who starts with a neural and uh, a rifle and you also get uh, Banks, who has uh, a Neural Disruptor and the uh, Custom Paralyzer. Now, the cool thing about this is when you hit someone with the stun gun, you can then use the Neural Paralyzer on them. And, oh, excuse me, not the Neural, the, uh, the Custom Paralyzer, whatever. And it will keep them out for the extra three turns. So by the time they wake back up, you can hit him with the stun gun again. So that can be can be helpful. Uh, normally I would use Oh yeah, also I've got some other stuff over here. I got a I got parasite and I think that's it. So power drip is pretty cool. It gives you a new power every single turn, one power per turn. It makes it really, really easy early on to hack the cameras and stuff. You don't have to worry too much about getting the consoles. Uh, Lockpick breaks down a firewall for two power. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not really complicated. Uh, Parasite, infect target to break one firewall le uh, at the start of your turn. So, that's alright, but I think we're going to go with that. Now, I think I'm going to end up... I'm going to go with this guy. And, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with him and her. I'm not gonna use Deckard. Deckard's the guy you start out with. He's got Welcome a little bit better operator. stealth, so he can move a little farther, but I wanna use this guy because I just wanna be able to shoot, we shoot the guards. We don't know what it all means yet, but it's Early in the game, we should prepare for a major action. It's not really that build. big of a deal this if you just straight up kill them. Our resources are stretched thin. I've lined up some lucrative contracts and targets of opportunity that we can exploit to better our position. Better our position. I'll let you choose the missions as you Thank see you, fit. But be careful. We can't afford another setback right now. So here's the deal. I got 72 hours to complete these or complete as many as I can. And then you get, like, a final mission or something. I've never made it to the final mission. I always die. Now, once you get into the levels, the mistakes that I made at the beginning was I spent way, way, way too much time trying to find everything. You don't have enough time to find everything. You just gotta go and try to rush to find the exit basically as fast as you can and grab whatever crap you can along the way and that's basically it like once you get better equipment you can take your time but anyways so vancouver is very guarded santa cruz is guarded is very guarded uh Astania is guarded and christ's church is guarded so it's 17 hours so again here's the the thing it's flying there it takes a while so I'm gonna go here because this is only six hour flight. And They've it's also been acting just against our interests lately and it would be prudent to strike back. We're sending you here. 
It looks like a secret software development lab. See if there's anything interesting on their central server. Try not to lose any agents, operator. I don't want to deal with the paperwork. Okay. Alarm system. The corporation is detected incognito, which is that grid thing that you use for hacking. Agents, but we're gonna stay here, the more security. So basically, the longer you stay, every time you go through a turn, uh, the little thing goes up. So every time you go through a turn, it goes up. And once it gets to a certain point, uh, guards will come from the guard elevators. So this chick, uh, she can hack stuff from far away. So like, bam, you don't even have to, you don't even have to be there. And she's also got this thing, which is pretty cool. So you can scan, so she can see that. Like, look at that, she can, she saw it through the wall. So you can hack the safe already. Uh, she can't get through that door. Um, let's click on this guy. So this dude has uh, the gun. Oh, he doesn't look, he looks way different right here. He looks like Alfred from Batman. All right, um, you know, shoot at movement during enemy's turn, okay. We're, gonna, we're not gonna do that just yet. And I'm just gonna open the door. Ooh. Is there a guy over there? Oh, there's a camera. Okay, I'm gonna hack that. All right. Um, I'm going to set him up to shoot. Because in case a guard comes through. And I think that's, uh, I think that's it turn <laughs> see ya <laughs> he just d okay Warning. um all right well i mean there are all the guards for right now we're at alarm level one but i mean he just shot the two <laughs> okay whatever um Okay. Uh, let's just steal. We'll take the credits. The guard. Oh, by the way, this right here is a guard elevator. That's where they come out of. Um, I'm gonna go here, and then we'll have her go over here. And can I? I can. I can hack that from a distance. From a distance. So pass card lets me get in the locked doors. Metagel lets me uh, revive my team. If someone gets knocked out by a guard, well, not knocked out. They get shot by a guard. You can use the thing in order in order to um, bring them back. Uh, can I look out? No. All right, so what do we got here? Ooh, hey now, there we go. All right, let's get in there. Ooh, there we go. Nice. I should have brought, uh, what's, oh, I didn't actually need to do that. Inco oh, that's a server bomb, incognito upgrades available? Okay, sweet. All right, and what about uh, her? So let's get you. Oh, she's already out of action points. Okay, I thought I had ended my turn. All right, uh, let's go and check out what we got over here. Um, we got a hammer. Breaks five firewalls for five power. Okay, hunter kills demons. Dagger breaks three wire, it's five cool. Cool. Lock pick. Um, I think these things carry over to the next game. Maybe I'm not sure. Use dagger. Breaks three firewalls. Five current. One power. That seems pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm gonna hold off though. What's that? All right. I don't think I need any of that. So I'm gonna we'll get you back over there and let's see. Actually, hang on. Let's do a quick scan. All right, let's go and steal from that safe. Ooh, 
corporate intelligence. I'm buying an inventory spot. Alright, um. So we got another console over there. Where the exit is. Alright, I think that's it. Okay. Um. Can I hijack? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, she can get that from quite a distance. All right, let's grab this stuff. What do we got in here? Just money. Also just money. Uh, is there anything up there? I don't know. It didn't look like it. All right, let's go grab the other guy. And... Do you want to go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. I'm like right in the open. Power drip. Um, let's head over here. Peek through. Ooh, hey now. Okay. What's that? Oh, nano fabricator. Nice. All right. And you come over. Let's go up here. Let's see what's through here. Oh, we got another safe. Um, eject that. There's got to be a. Uh... Yeah, there's a camera right there. When you see the room, the floor is red. You know that there's a camera right there. All right, we're done, ski. Warning: additional cameras activated. Oh, crap. What's that? Hex security camera. Okay. Let's go down here. Grab this. What do we got in here? Uh, government pistol. We've got a chameleon movement. Uh, after you become cloaked. No, I don't really care about that. Alright. Unregistered ammunition. Refills a single weapon. Rare ammunition that's evaded the government. Alright. Click this to upgrade the inventory. Um, anarchy skill level two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, and then we'll head back. You. Do I need that power? I don't need that power. I want to check what's up here, though. God damn it. A, there's a guard in there, I think. Nope, there's another camera. Damn it. What's that elevator? It's got to be down here. I gotta get out of here. We got... We got more guards that are gonna be coming. What's this? Oh! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Alright. Uh... Set over here. And you dude, more what crap. More um Is that a safe? Reveals the outline of the facility. Ah, it's gotta be there. That has to be it. Unless it's right there. Ah crap. Uh alright, well. I guess we'll find out in a second here. I'm taking a really long time with this, by the way. Like, super long time. Um, no, let's, let's, let's move her. Peek in there, see if that's the elevator. It is, nice, thank god. Oh, there's a guard right there. Um. Good night. What do you got? I don't need the pass card. I already got that. Alright, you get your butt down here. And that's it. We're basically done. Uh, we're probably gonna get a. Uh, probably gonna get guards, but. Since this is the first one, it's not really that big a deal. Uh, you know what, though? I do wanna trade. Give me those bullets. Did you reload? Reload. There you go. 
All right, get out of here. Bam. So that was pretty successful. The only two cards that showed up got shot, like, on turn two. Uh, that's not normally how it goes. It's not... See, cleanup cost, 123. So you lose some money because because uh, I killed some of the guards. If you just tase them, then it's not that big deal. All right, so we've got... Uh, we got some money. We can upgrade them if we want to. Um, steal from behind. I don't really care about that. Uh, I don't really need the inventory spot. So you can always buy more inventory. There's really no reason to buy inventory right now. Because you can always get it when you're actually in game. Whereas the other stuff you can't get. So if you're at a safe and you're taking something out. Like you can just buy an inventory spot right there. All right, so let me check with her inventory. See, I yeah, she's got a couple of inventory right now. Uh, hijack, plus one power, stealth. I do, see, I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like the extra movement. The extra movement's really important. So I'm gonna give them both one extra movement. Cause you really gotta get like as far as you can. All right, that is invisible ink. Hope you guys liked it. It's very challenging. It's also a lot of fun. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to hit that like button and come back on the next video. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.